Let's take a look at compression. Right now, we're in Adobe Photoshop. Let me save this photograph file for web and devices. This allows me to use JPEG compression. As you can see here, it's set to JPEG compression, and right now the quality is set to 100%. That means we have almost no savings in size from compression. Down here, you can see the size of the file, which is right now at about four megabytes. Now I can zoom in and zoom out. So let me go out. This is what the whole file looks like. Let's zoom in on one part where the JPEG compression might be more noticeable. Here we go. All right, now notice that 100% quality, which means 0% compression, the picture is as it was when we took it with the camera. But if I change that quality down to 0%, immediately you can see a big change in the way the picture looks. You can see little squares right here, for example. Let me zoom in on those. At, uh, at magnifications, you can see very clearly that there's a great deal of distortion. Now if I go back up to 100%, you can see that it actually looks much better. Let me go down in steps. This is 4 megabytes and 100% quality. If I bring it down to 90% quality, you see almost no change in the picture. But already, I've saved more than one megabyte in size. The size of the file is now listed as less than three megabytes. I can go down to 80%. Again, almost no difference in the quality of the picture. But now I'm down to just over two megabytes in file size. Let's go down again to 70%. Here you can see just a little bit of change. You might have noticed some of the pixel switching. We're still at very good photo quality, but now we're down to 1.6 megabytes. Let me go down once more to 60%. Notice the pixels when I let go of the cursor right now. You could probably see a small change in the way the pixels looked. Now we're down to 1.24 megabytes, less than one third the original file size. And yet, the change in quality is almost unnoticeable, even when we're magnified this big. Now I'm gonna jump by 20% at a time go down from 60% to 40%, and you should see a fairly large difference in the pixels. There you go. It's still not terrible quality, but it would probably begin to be noticeable at normal size at about this, uh, about this quality. We're down to 764 kilobytes, down from 4 megabytes. Let's go from 40% down to 20%. Here you can see a big difference in quality we're now seeing those large squares, we're seeing quite a bit of image distortion, and we're down to 500 kilobytes. Go down to zero, and now we're at only 234 kilobytes. That's about 1 16th. We've saved about, what would that be? About, you know, about almost 95%, more than between 90, 95% of the space. But as you can see, the quality has become much, much worse. Usually a 50 or 60 percent uh, compression rate is considered acceptable, between 50 and 60 percent. I usually use 60 percent. I see almost no loss in the image quality, but you do save about two-thirds of the file size, sometimes more than that. Depends on which picture you're working with. So that's how JPEG compression can work.